Hi guys, back with another video for you today and I have a special guest here, Sarah. She's visiting from Italy and she's going to rank seven leather fragrances. So please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and or you've been watching videos here for a while and still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So Sarah, thanks so much for doing this video with me. Thank you. Um, so what do you like about perfumes? I like about perfumes that they reflect on my character. So um, when choosing a perfume, I always like it to be individual and to uh, connect also with my feelings. Great. Do you like leather fragrances? Yes, I love leather fragrances. Those are my favorites, actually. Oh yeah, that's what I heard. So, yeah. so we have seven uh, leather fragrances here. So we have one from Terry Mugler or Mugler called uh, Pure Leather or Pure Queer. We have the Tom Ford Tuscan Leather here in the little atomizer. We have Lone Star Memories from Tower Perfumes. We have Louis Vuitton's uh, Milfo. We have Parfum de Marly's Godolphin. We have Quir de Russi from Chanel. And we have YSL's Noble Leather. So shall we get started? Yes. Okay, so let's start with Pure Queer or Pure Leather from Mugler or Mugler. Three sprays. Mm -hmm. This one to me is pretty intense. intense it's yeah. a little animalic, it's lots of leather. But it has a little bit of like a, a gourmand touch to it from Mugler and patchouli. I find this one very masculine. Very masculine. Mm -hmm. Would you wear something like this? Mm, I don't think so. It's a little rough, right? Yes. But it always depends on, on, on the skin. It on your skin, yeah, how it changes. But on the first time, uh, it's uh, too rough. Yes. Does me. it does it smell a little animalic as well? Yes. A little bit well. animalic. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's maybe for you. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> the next one we're going to smell is the Tom Ford Tuscan Leather. Now this one is very, very popular and very, very strong again. Mm. A little bit fruity. Mm. This one I love. You do? Yes. Wow. Because it's, you smell the leather, but at the same way I feel it, it's fresh. It's fresh. Okay. Mm. Okay. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> okay. All right. So next one we're going to smell is Lone Star Memories from Tower Perfumes. Tower Perfumes is one of my favorites. Mm. It's also a little bit sweet, in my opinion. Yeah. A little bit too strong for me. A little too strong. <laughs> you don't think Tuscan leather was strong? Mm, I preferred it. I don't know why. It had it this freshness, like, yeah, right? Yeah, freshness. It was like pure. And this one is a little bit too much for me. Okay. All right. Mm, yes. So that one is uh, Lone Star Memories. Now we've got uh, Louis Vuitton's Milfo. Mm -hmm. Now this one is totally fresh to me. And it's a little bit fruity as well. Yes. But really lovely. It very much. You do? Yes. It's sweet. It re reminds me of a cake. Cake? Yes. Leather cake. Mm, leather cake. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's also intense. But I like it. Very feminine. Very I feminine? This one is feminine, yes. Out of all of them, it's the most feminine? Yes. For now, yes. Do you think a man can pull this one off? Maybe as well. Yeah, it changes, uh, but I see it more as, as uh, a for a, a, a woman, yes. Do you get more leather or do you get more fruit? Because it's got raspberry. Yes, I get more the raspberry out of it. Yes. Okay. But um, I think it's one. It's more popular this perfume. The other ones were more individual. This one reminds me of um, also like J'adore. Oh. Yeah. It's Louis Vuitton and they own Dior, so it's J'adore. <laughs> Maybe. Same 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 parent company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Louis Vuitton's Milfo. All right, next one is Parfum de Marley's Godolphin. Very nice. 
You like that one? Yes. It reminds me a little bit of Tuscan leather. It does remind me of yeah. Tuscan leather. This one has more fruit. Mm. But I love it. Very good. You like it? Mm. What do you like about the Tuscan leather and the Godolphin that you don't like about the other ones as much? Um, when you think about leather, you always think it's like uh, heavy and uh, very strong, but those ones are fresh as well, so this is what I like about them. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> the next one is Coeur de Russie by Chanel. This one's classic. Have you smelled it before? No. What do you think? Uh, I don't uh, smell the leather element as much in this one, but it's more like um, to wash your hands. Um, soapy? Soapy, yes. <laughs> it's the aldehydes, I think. Yeah. It's very Chanel. I can smell the Chanel, Chanel DNA very in Very clean. Clean. But I like it. You like it. Mm -hmm. But do also you... here, I would say it's more feminine. It's more feminine? Like the Milfo? Yes. Do you get a little buttery? There's, it smells mm -hmm. like butter in yes. there, like creamy. Mm -hmm. But it also has, the leather in there is very burned. It smells like burned leather to me. But now, yes, as you mentioned it, very buttery, creamy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you like it? Yes. Would you wear it? I would prefer maybe another one, but I would wear it, yes. You would wear it. Mm -hmm. Do you think a man can pull this one off? I wear it. Yes. I'm curious to... <laughs> smell it on, on me? Skin, yes. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's that feminine when I see it on his skin. Would your boyfriend wear something like this? He wears everything I tell him. Oh! <laughs> Perfect! But he would, he would, yes. He would? Hmm. Okay. Alright, last but not least, it's YSL's Noble Leather. All right. You know these brands, right? Um, this one actually no. Not all of them. But you know YSL, right? Ah, you say Laurent? Yes, of course, yeah. yeah. I love this one. Mm, very good. You smell the leather, definitely. This one has fruits. Mm. I wouldn't know which one. Dried fruits. Oh. Apricots, peaches, nectarines, oh. maybe raspberries. Mm. I like it. You like it? So let's see. Um, so number out of all of the seven here, what number? Which one is, is number seven for you? So do you want to you want to pick up the? Yes. Mm -hmm. Number seven for me would be this one. So number seven is Mugler's Pure Cuir or Pure Leather. Mm -hmm. How come it's number seven? It's your least favorite. Yes, my least favorite. It's, it's not that I don't like it, but it was too, too rough. Too rough for me. Okay. Personally, to me, pure leather I think is the roughest out of all of the Mugler uh, flankers, and very animalic for a Mugler. Personally, that. But so number seven is that one. Yes. All right. So number six. Number six would be the Yves Saint Laurent. I liked it very much, but. It's very similar to Tom Ford and um, this one as well. Parfum de Marley? Yes. So of those three, I like less this one. Okay. So this is number six. Yes. Yves Saint Laurent is number six for you. Yes. Okay. So which one is number five? And number five would be this one. This is Tower Perfumes Lone Star Memories. So why number six, uh, six, uh, five for this one? I just don't feel the leather here, and it's too intensive for me. Too intense. Mm -hmm. Do you smell a little bit of animalic touch? Yes, as well. Now this is called Lone Star Memories. Mm -hmm. Lone Star is the Lo uh, Texas is the Lone Star State. Okay. So it has to do with uh, Andy Tower. He spent time in Texas, and this, this is how te he remembers Texas smelling. Oh, okay. So it's leather. A little story you didn't know about. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting to know. So we have uh, Pure Leather at number seven, YSL's Noble Leather at number six, Lone Star Memories at number five. What's number four? Louis Vuitton. 
Milfo? Yes. How come? Because um, as I love leather, this one is too fruity for me. Too fruity? Mm -hmm. um, it's more fruit than uh, leather. Yes. More yeah, raspberry. The raspberry, as you said, um, it's too dominant in this perfume. Plus it reminds you of J'adore. Yes. It's From Dior. Too, yeah, too like popular, too common. It's not individual. Too mass. Yes. Okay. Makes total sense. <laughs> okay. But how come it didn't go into like number seven or number six or something? Because I still liked it. You still um, liked yes. it? Okay. <laughs> What's number three? Oh, this is difficult now. But number three will be Chanel. Chanel Quille de Russe is number three. Now how come it's number three? Um, I don't feel the leather here at all. As I said earlier, it's like uh, fresh and um, buttery, creamy, creamy. But um, also I liked it. It's um, something new, something you don't um, smell everywhere. Okay. I didn't know the fragrance before. I know Chanel, but this one surprised me. Okay. <laughs> Makes total sense. Yes. All right, Chanel Cure de Russie, number three. What's number two? Yeah, now I'm choosing in between those two that are very similar. Tom Ford, the Tuscan Leather, or Parfum de uh, Marley's Godolphin? Yes. What's number two? Number two is this one. This one, yes. okay. How come this one is number two and not, not Tom Ford uh, is number two? You smell the leather here, but also here it's like fruity. It's definitely fruity. Yeah, and I prefer the, the more leather, Tuscan leather, in between those two. It is Tuscan but leather. But it's, it's a detail. They are very similar. They are very similar. Mm -hmm. You're right. <laughs> You're absolutely right. They are very similar. Yes. But you prefer the Tom Ford. Yes. Okay. Tom Ford wins. Ta-da! Number one is Tom Ford. <laughs> so pure leather, pure cure from Mugler, number seven. YSL's Noble Leather is number six. Lone Star Memories from Tower Perfumes is number five. Mille Faux from um, Louis, Vuitton. Louis Vuitton is number four. Uh, Chanel Kill de Russe is number three. Parfum de Marly uh, Godolphin is number two. And Tom Ford uh, Tuscan Leather is number one. Yay! Yay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sure. So uh, would you rush out and get a, a bottle of uh, Tom Ford Tuscan Leather? Would you wear it? Yes, I would wear it. You would wear it? Yes. Totally? Totally. Yeah? Yeah. I, I think there will be a higher cost than uh, maybe another one, but... Uh, but it's something you would wear? Yeah, it's worth it. And because um, it's something individual that comes with my character. <laughs> now, do you find the Tuscan Leather to be more appropriate for colder or warmer? Or just doesn't matter to you? No, I think it matters. Um, it's more for a colder season. Colder season. Yeah, but because they are all very heavy, heavy. the leather perfumes, so I wouldn't wear it in like a very hot day. What about the Milfo? Milfo maybe yes, because it's um, very more light. fruity, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right now in San Francisco we're having a heat wave. Yeah. Would you wear Tuscan leather today in San Francisco? Oh, today I felt, um, yeah, it was hot, but there was a wind. There was a wind. So maybe a little bit, a not little too bit. much, yes. Okay. But it's maybe more a meal for a day. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. Well, thank you for doing this. Thank you for having me. Adele, now we did it. So uh, share the video. <laughs> Guys, if you have any questions or comments about leather fragrances that we discussed today, please write down a comment below and let us know which of these fragrances do you love to wear? Which of these do you hate to wear? Let us know so we can get a conversation started. Also, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.